Just what is it that you want to do? Well, we want to be free. We want to be free to, to do what we want to do. And we want to get loaded. And we want to have a good time. And that's what we're going to do. Well, wait, baby, let's go. We're going to have a good time. Hi, guys. Todd here. Right, I've got a spare half hour or so. So, I am an RSST landed on my doorstep today. I bought one because I've got a couple bits of gear coming that need an RSST. So uh, I was just going to set it up in Wickaway and uh, have a little vape on it and remind myself what they were like. And uh, going off uh, discussions on my forum uh, about <laughs> uh, cotton wick in a Genesis atomizer. Now I've done it with silica wick, which I did very badly, um, and I could never really get, it never really worked well for me, uh, I must admit. So uh, just going on the discussions, I thought I would have a, a crack at this, and uh, it's on my variable voltage tin mod uh, that was kindly made for me. I'm running, forgotten. Running at 4.7 volts, and this is a 1.8 ohm coil, uh, micro wish coil. Just to show you, uh, well, I'm not doing up close, but. Wicking away, quite the thing, no issues at all, not drying out, just, it just goes. Um, listen, go on to the, I have said this before, I'm sounding like a broken record. Listen, stuff like this, unless I stay, I've had a eureka moment and I've invented this, uh, what I'm showing you, 99.9% .9 of the time is based on information that I have got from people on forums. Um, ECF, UK Vapors, you know, high-end mods, my own forum, stuff like that. Uh, I take no credit for any of this stuff. Uh, I'm just showing you what I've read. Um, and this is basically what I've read. Um, whether I'm doing it the right way or the wrong way, yeah, you know, it's... This is me playing, and I'm showing you it. That's it. So don't take this as set in stone. This is the right way to do it. Uh, this is my variation of a micro coil. You, you know, people don't get too bogged down by terminology. Just find something that works for you. If it works for you, brilliant. Uh, you know, if you're using a doing your version of a micro coil and it just happens to be you know two millimeter in diameter uh, technically according to the, some people that will not be a micro coil who cares call it George if you want if it works and it vapes well good for you <laughs> uh, and that's me just making way so that I can excuse the mess that I'm about to make so <laughs> Kudos to all the people that uh, take the time to write these things up and put them in the forums because uh, you are the guys that are leading the way and uh, you give me lots to play with in the shed. So, ramble over. Let's go and see how I actually screwed, I mean, let's go and see how I made this. So here we go. Here's my 0.25 cantle, uh, or 0 0.25. And... Uh, I've got my little screwdriver. This is the, the screwdriver that I tend to use. And I'll try and get in a bit of focus here, because that always helps. Come on. Here we go. Um, and, and that's, you know, I could go for a smaller diameter. I could go around something like this that's even smaller. Um, you know, whatever works for you at the end of the day. Whatever, you know, muck about with the number of coils, the thickness of the wire. And whatever resistance works for you, you know, just go for it. Uh, don't get hung up on the terminology that you hear getting banded about. Uh, I mean, I'm just going to wrap this round here. I'm not worried about it being really close together. Um, 
that'll do me. I think that was a bit nine wraps there. I'm just making sure that the you know the tails are coming out same way. I'm just going to push that down. Hopefully tighten it up a little bit. Make sure there's nothing overlapping. And and you know that'll do me fine. And I'll take this off of here like so. So I'll just give you a bit of a close up there. So that's what I've got just now. And all I've been doing is just grabbing my little long nose pliers, pair of tweezers, whatever you want. Squeezing it till it's like so. And then I'm just going to get my Me. Just give it a quick flame of my torch. Let it cool down a bit, and off it comes. And you know that that's that's what's been working for me. Okay, that that's what's a little bit of an overlap at the end there that I can stick the screwdriver back in, and I can I can just tidy that up a bit and make sure it's pulled tight and. And there we go. That'll do me. Right. Let's find a bit of cotton. Uh, this is one of these cotton face pad things that I've stolen from the wife. It's uh, not bleached or anything like that. Uh, so I'm just going to pull it to bits. And I found that uh, was it Michael uh, Blueprint. Um, he keeps saying less is more or more is less, <laughs> less is better uh, and I'm kind of finding that this is the really the, the way to go with cotton uh, so you know, I'm just going to put a little point on the end here like so uh, I'm going to pass this through and I'm just holding it, the, the coil together and just slowly pulling this through. And you know that'll do me. That's that's actually all I want as uh, as my wick. I'm just going to pull that off. Keep that like that just now. I'm just going to spin this in my finger. And just tighten it up a wee bit so that uh, it goes down the wick hole like so and then I'm just going to you know I'm just, just going to wrap my posts and uh, you will find that you know because the coil is all heated up and you know in shape it will move about but uh, I'm not too worried about that uh, I just go with the flow to start off with just tighten this up here you see the coils moving about uh, I'm just going to move it more central over the air hole that's the door blowing in the wind so it's more in line with the, the wick hole I'll move that a little bit more uh, I'm just going to Pop my top coil under here. Give me a second. Right, I'll just uh, snap the wire off here. I'm just going to reposition the coil because it's kind of moved about a bit here. Um, what you could do, and I'm not going to say this is the right or the wrong way, it's probably a better way to do it, is to do it like the drill bit method and keep the screwdriver in the coil. Put the coil in position first and then feed the wick through. Uh, do you know whatever works for you uh, whatever works so I'm just going to drop some juice on this now and uh, I'll get some power to it so here we go there's coil whipped it up a wee bit <laughs> that 
that's cooking away quite the thing there. I mean, I, I'm not going for any awards here on uh, being pretty or anything, uh, but that is functioning exactly as I want it to. Now, the, I know we will see it for the clear tank, but my wick is actually only going down into the top, uh, top third of the tank. It's not long at all. I haven't found the need to put it right down uh, because it just it soaks up the juice so well. And because I'm doing a tilt, it's constantly getting fed. Uh, really works well. Right. As <laughs> I said at the start, this is me mucking about. I'm playing. Okay? So this isn't set in stone as this is the way you should do it. Anything like that. If you're not getting the hint by now, then whatever. Uh, it's not pretty. It's not possibly a micro coil. But. It wicks well, and I think that came out about the uh, 1.7 it came out at, and I'm running about the uh, 4.5 volts on a uh, variable voltage mod. So. I'm finding right now, whilst it works really well, the flavour is great because it's the RSST and it, it's got that huge top cap. I'm not, I'm getting zero throat hit. I'm, I'm not really getting any at all. Um, so I'm not really surprised by that. Um, just, it's really easy to set up this, and. I, Benefits. Benefits are with the micro, well, micro-ish coil type setup. What I did there, hot spots are, you know, they're not there. Um, you know, that I had the coil and then long legs coming off, going to the top and bottom, and uh, you know, you don't get any hot spots, none at all. It's that that's for me is one of the big sellers. Um, the cotton, you know always wet your cotton first before you fire it. If you fire it without, then you're just going to get a puff of ash. Um, it just works. And that's what I love about it. Like I said, it's not pretty. I'm not going to win any awards for this. Uh, people will be throwing things at the screen and saying, that's what a bloody mess is made of that. I don't care. It vapes really, really well. So, if you haven't tried cotton and a microcoil in a Genesis Atomizer, give it a bash. Um, let's say I'm just playing here, I'm having a bit of fun, and hopefully, how I, I mean, I've been kind of inspired by the people in the forums. Um, hopefully, you'll see this and go, oh, I could try that myself. And that's what this game is all about: is having, a, you know, having a bit of fun. So. Um, on that note, I'm away to go and play some more. I don't know what I'll try next. Actually, I've got to go and make the dinner for tonight. Oh, well, guys, uh, thanks for watching as always. And, uh, you know, go and play. We'll catch you later. Bye now.